Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. Another day, another Ross. And this is what it looks like when a tornado goes through the Ross men's shoe section. All kinds of twister action going on. Shoes on top of shoes, on top of some more shoes, on the floor, up top, on the ceiling, not early, but definitely on the floor. And does not look like there's too much room for any more. I actually found a pretty solid pair of Adidas weightlifting shoes. These guys right here, the black on black, Audi Power weightlift, size nine and a half, price $32.99. And I think I have a couple of these at home in different colorways. They sell decent, somewhere around 100, which is what I think most of these are priced at. But as you guys can probably hear, it's super loud here. A little bit on the crazy side. And the reason I'm not grabbing that pair of weightlifting kicks is because, check out the line situation. It's like the Energizer Bunny, man. It keeps going and 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 going. And going, and going, and going, and I'm pretty sure the end of it's somewhere right around there, maybe, maybe there. Either way, way too long. So, you know what they say, when the line's a little bit on the cray cray side, you do not waste your day, and instead, you hip hop hooray over to, ah, uh, not a rhymes, time to go, I'm gonna get some caffeine. Hey! Do you want to feel so energetic? Try Power Thirst! Energy drinks for people who need gratuitous amounts of energy! And uh, see where the day takes us from there. If I can find Yoda that is. Yoda? Where you at man? You drive away? You get sick and tired of waiting? I do not blame you. Don't hit me. Don't hit me! Two days later. New Ross, new day. But unfortunately, it looks like that same tornado came through this Ross as well. You guys can see the damage. Not quite as bad as the last door, but the twister clearly took all the good finds with it. And this is the debris left behind. So, with that said, that's definitely not a good sign. That was extremely disappointing to say the least. Not only did the tornado sweep away all the good finds, but even if there were some good finds to be had, not really too many good finds you can grab for $49.99. So, unfortunately, it looks like Mother Nature won this one. But, like my boy Michael Bisbing once said, quitters never win. Which means... On to the next one! On to the next one! On to the next one. What do we have here? Alright, so these may look like girl shoes. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But based on the ones I sold within like the past month or so, they're definitely not girl shoes. I sold a pink pair and a blue pair, both for right around 100. And even though I'm pretty sure I got those two pairs from Ross, I think the sales price was probably pretty close to this one. So this one's a size 8. I already checked eBay, there's only like two other size eights, both listed for 100 and up. So, we'll check these out, make sure nothing funky's going on. And if we don't see anything else, that means it is checkout time, aka dinner time, because it's about that time of the day. But first, what are those? Oh, what are those? I got one question for you. What are those? Seriously, what? Were you thinking Nike? What are these, man? Like robot shoes from the future or something? I sent him into the future. Comparable value, 120. Our low price, 59.99. That's very, 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 very generous of you, Mr. Burlington. But rain check on that one. And now for my personal favorite part of the whole treasure hunt experience is the checkout situation good times one eternity later well that's officially a wrap for today's treasure hunting slash shoe hunting slash sneaker hunting adventure it's cold as a mofo in north carolina i'm ready to go get some grub get some heat and call it a night the next day every day i'm hustling every day i'm hustling all right so i'm back at the scene of the crime 
aka the Roths from like a day or two ago where I found that all black pair of Adidas weightlifting shoes that I was going to snag. Until that is, we saw what the checkout line situation was looking like earlier in the video. So since I was crunched for time, considering it was Halloween and all, and I had to get home to do trick or treating with my little man, hashtag dad life, I hid them in what I thought was a pretty solid spot. But uh, apparently either someone's really good at hide and go seek or my spot was not so good after all because I've done like two or three walkthroughs at this point and nada. It for sure still definitely looks like a tornado came through here. A lot of craziness going on. Check out these guys right here. I actually think these are some type of weird alien looking Nike weightlifting shoes called super reps aside from that shout out to my boy spike lee on his own custom kicks and i believe i spotted a little something something over here right about here the somewhat dirty red and white air max 98s which typically would be a pretty solid find except Ross is wilding out a little bit on that 69.99 price tag comparable value 113 and these guys are these are seven and a half and with a price tag of 69.99 and a little bit of this right there considering there's a ton of these in this same size listed on ebay right now and the lowest ones are listed at this price right around 80 bucks i don't know about you guys but a profit margin of probably negative once you factor in all the fees and shipping personally i'm not about that life man oh man i can't believe someone found my hiding spot i'm pretty sure it was in this general area right here except i hid it behind quite a few more things and try to make it look as l natural as possible but apparently unless those transformed into these my hide and go seek skills especially the hide part need a little bit of fine tuning but not all is lost what i did find which is honestly probably even a better find is these guys according to my good friend dr google and mr ebay these are some type of women's hyperset react or something like that volleyball shoes size 12 which is definitely a pretty big size for the ladies comparable value 94 ross price 34.99 but with a little bit of that and a little bit of this I think it's pretty safe to say that these guys are solid find. All right, so pretend these guys are all black and I'm pretty sure this is the exact same pair of Adidas weightlifting shoes that I played hide and go seek with. Let's see, Audi Power weightlift. I think that's it, size 10. I'm pretty sure that was the same size as well. Maybe the black ones were an 11, either way. Comparable value, 75. Ross price, $32.99. And for some odd reason, I don't know why, but these ones in this colorway seem to sell or resell i should say for significantly less than the black ones which is definitely a bummer but it's also probably the reason that mr hide and go seek champion 2020 found the black ones and left these poor guys behind what do you know found some more nike shocks in the same colorway ross price 64.99 comparable value 120 and these guys are a size 10 and a half i'm honestly starting to see these same shocks in the same colorway at almost every ross i go to so clearly they're not too popular and down here we got some dangling rogue dame fives size 10 ross price 34.99 comparable value 75. i looked these up yesterday or the day before when i came and they resell for a whole lot of nothing all right, so I was scoping out the jersey section like I always do right before I leave. And check this out. Found two of these Nike New York Giants hoodies. And the retail on these guys is $125. Ross price, $14.99. Both of them are, let's see, that one's a large. And based on that, that one's a large too. I couldn't find them on eBay, but honestly, paying $14.99 for them when the retail is that much. And considering how many people are huge football fans in America, I can't imagine we can't turn a pretty decent profit on these two. So add these to the pile and on to the next one. Just like my favorite fast food restaurant in 
and out. Didn't record too much in there because it's getting kind of late. Got to get back to chill with the fam and NC before we head back to the sunshine state of flow ride day. But no worries. We did not come away empty handed. I'll show you guys what's in the bag or will I? <laughs> Bump, bump, bump. Okay, I'm corny and whack. I'm horrible. Take a shot. You got everything you'll ever need. You fought. You're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, thank God, you were only make believe. Those. Th